Are you ready to stand out in your next teaching interview? Are you ready to discover the game-changing response that can make you a top candidate? Because in today's episode, we're going to explore the question, if you get the job at our school, what can you offer us? I want you to grab your pen and grab your paper because this is an important, critical question that can bridge the gap and get you your dream job as a teacher. Get ready to take some notes because we're going to start this journey right now. Hey everybody, Dr. Gordon Emerson here, Superintendent of Schools and Gallup Certified Strengths Coach. And on this channel, we leverage my experience from classroom teacher all the way to the Office of School District Superintendent to help you go further faster in your educational journey. If this is your first time with us, welcome in and thank you for being here. And while you're here, don't forget the subscribe button as well as the bell notification so you don't miss any cool updates or any of our latest episodes or content. So, are you facing an upcoming teacher interview? Do you have that feeling of stress and anxiety and you're worried about how you will set yourself apart on your next interview the next time you get a chance to sit down with the school principal? Well, if that's you, don't worry. Check out these previous episodes in this series that take you through some of the very frequent questions that are asked on teacher interviews because we want to help you be able to stand out. We want you to get that dream job, to get that thing that you've been so aspiring for, so desiring. You want your classroom with your students. You want to make that classroom your own. You want to make that environment where your students can thrive and be excited about coming to school and learning all the wonderful, fun, and engaging things that you're ready to share with them. But to get to that place, you've got to be ready to deal with the interview. And so in today's episode, we want to talk about this question that many times you get towards the end of the interview. So this is not something you're going to talk about at the beginning. But thinking about if you're going through the interview and you're navigating those questions, you're dealing with fostering a positive learning environment, you've talked about your teaching philosophy, you've talked about these kind of critically important questions, why you wanted to become a teacher, you've navigated all of that. And you've talked about some of the tactical responses that many times our principals will ask you during the interview. And so then you get towards the end of the interview. And this question comes up, okay, well, Gordon, if you got the job at our school, like, what can you offer us? What can you do to add value to our school community? What could you do to add value to our second grade team, our fourth grade team, our science team, our foreign language team? What could you provide? And I think that this is a critical opportunity if you begin to showcase the opportunity to share what you know, what you're able to do, what natural skills and talents and attributes that you have that you could share with the principal. Because this is the type of question where the principal can immediately see in your response, oh, this is the thing. This is the X factor that they're bringing to the campus. I need somebody who's collaborative. I need somebody who's an outside the box thinker. I need someone who's a go-getter, who's data driven, who's data rich. I need that. And so I want you to think about the responses because we're going to give you again, like in our previous episodes in this series, we're going to give you two sample responses that become templates that you can use. You can personalize and build your own responses on top of. So this is the type of question that will set you far and away apart from other folks because other folks who haven't prepared for this or haven't thought about this type of a question, they will give a very boilerplate response. But you, you're ready and you're going to do much better than that. So we're going to jump right in with sample response number one. All right, sample response number one to the question, if given the job at our school, what can you offer us? Well, a sample response could sound something like this. I am passionate about integrating 
multicultural education into the curriculum to prepare students for a globalized world. In my previous experiences, I've developed a series of lessons that incorporated literature, history, and arts from diverse cultures, which enhanced our students' cultural awareness as well as their cultural sensitivity. Since I know that your school values diversity and inclusion, I believe that my experience can contribute to creating an even more welcoming and enriching environment for all students. So this sample gives you some really specific, detailed ideas that the principal can immediately connect with and resonate. If this is a school that has a diverse student population, a rich and vibrant cultural community, these are the types of things that you want to build those connections with and from. And so thinking about ways to highlight what you will do, what your experiences have been, and what your values are. What are the things that you principally believe about students and about education and about providing experiences that are well-rounded is exactly the types of things that you want to share, that you want the principal to hear from you, that differentiate you far and away from what other folks might share. So when you think about how you want to answer this response, you want to be really, really specific around what do you believe, what can you bring, how will you bring it? That's critically important. And that's what we wanted to showcase in sample response number one. So as we roll into sample response number two to that critical question, if given the job at our school, what can you do or provide for us? Go, I want you to go to the pinned comments below because I have a free gift for you. And that free gift is a framework that will, again, help you prepare for your next interview. It's going to give you some frameworks. It's going to give you some thoughts. It's going to give you some sentence stems. It's going to give you a guide that will build your interview preparation. And it will help you go in there and be confident and be comfortable as you navigate the pressure of the interview. So go to those com, uh, pinned comments below and download that free gift. We want to make sure that you're prepared as you go into the next interview. And with that, let's move to sample response number two. All right. Sample response number two to the question, if given the job at our school, what can you offer us? A good, solid, evidence-based an experience-based response this could sound something like this. I offer a strong background in mentoring and developing student leaders. At my last school and in my previous experiences, I have established student-led committees that organized community service projects and school events, which not only boosted student engagement, but also improved student and school spirit. I'm excited about our school's commitment to student empowerment, and I'd love to facilitate programs that nurture leadership skills and give students a voice in their education. Again, a powerfully constructed response that talks about going above and beyond what's happening just in your classroom, but what are the bigger community-based impacts and effects that you could have, not only necessarily on the 30 students in your classroom or the 30 kids that you may have per period if you're in a secondary environment, but thinking about what is the broad-based impact that you could have on a school campus. I know that I absolutely was always looking for that in teacher candidates that I interviewed, folks who were going to join our school community, I wanted to know that they were willing to go above and beyond to help our students. And so this response specifically encapsulates that. So as we think about that, share with us in the comments below, what are one or two things that you think of immediately when you think about what is the impact I could have on a school community if given the job? One or two things that you could drop in the comments below that will help 
add value to the community of learners that we have as a part of this channel and this channel's community. One or two things, share that with us in the comments below. Again, what are one or two things you could think about that you could use and add value to immediately if given the opportunity to work in a school community-based environment? And as we grow this, as we develop this more and more and more, there are so many tools and tricks and tips that we need to share with one another and using our comments section and engaging with the content is a great way to build that right we've got thousands of folks who view the channel that are a part of this community and we're always adding value to one another so share your insights share your thoughts because it adds a lot of value for everybody and so if you've made it to this point with us in the episode uh, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like the video, share it with a friend, share it with 10 friends, share it with everybody that you know that you think could benefit from seeing these types of episodes and these types of videos. We're going to continue to build a goal of 10,000 educators who are impacting positively the lives of the students in our communities and in our schools. And we are pushing and we're growing and we're developing. And so thank you for the support. We're going to continue to build that as we move forward. And if you want more information, you can check the description below for information on coaching, mentoring, our newsletter information. That all will be in the description below. And as we move forward, we're going to continue to build that community and build this network for you all. We want to add value to you every single week as we bring you more and more content. And if you have content ideas, share those with us in the comments below as well. We want to build content that is going to meet your needs. And so until we see you on our next episode, thank you so much. We'll see you very soon. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. We'll see you soon. Thanks, everyone.